anyway, I was going to talk about a couple things. I'm going out for a dinner tonight, and yes, and I want to tell you something about this shirt, which is, I don't know if y'all can see this, but it is like a little half shirt that would be clearly awesome in the summer with like some low riding blue jeans that were the kind that like you can imagine yourself just slipped up at the bottom a little bit walking across the beach or with your little sandals or better yet hanging low like really long narrow low, low cut you know like low waisted hanging on the hip bones tight and narrow in the rip and rear and thighs but then flaring out into an extreme bell bottom hanging over some very tall clogs you know what I mean I can I'm visualizing that Y'all, this shirt, it had been, I got it at Express and it had been expensive and I got it on clearance for almost nothing. Bam! <laughs> Which was, how long should you wait if you have like a yin and yang going on? You know what I'm saying? If you have like a salty and sweet, a savory and sweet condition going on at night, okay? This is the thing, first of all, you can remedy with having a closure to your meals okay that's a different topic but having a closure like i'm done with my meal i have had everything i need and nothing i don't and now it is finished okay so you have maybe ended your meal maybe a little bit later you had a warm tea maybe you had a ritualistic experience of that and then you brushed your teeth you you washed your face you did a facial mask there's no more eating the kitchen's closed you know what I mean like when my kids were little and dinner was over and, and I cleaned up no thank you the kitchen's closed like if you don't eat at dinner and here's the thing you get what you get and you don't pitch a fit and if you didn't eat that then guess what the kitchen's closed the galley <laughs> the galley doors are shut you know what I mean mama's off duty <laughs> <laughs> take it down the hall so anyway take yourself down the hall parent yourself you know the kitchen's closed baby so anyway talking about that so you could do that like furthermore the the longer you wait between when you eat and you go to sleep the better because you're going to have more restorative sleep when your body your vital force which there's only so much vital force in your little body every day okay so when that is going to digesting and assimilating your food at night guess what it's not going towards regeneration and restorative sleep it's not it can only do so many things so therefore you can a lot of times have nightmares and different things it's just not good so if you have um especially if you have fat even low fat in your dinner meal that typically takes about four hours to get moving on through the digestive tract so let's say you had dinner at six and you went to your night night at 10 o'clock that's perfect right but not if you had ice cream banana ice cream or you decided to have fruit and nuts or you decided I don't know what the heck you're doing you took the tahini jar to the couch and I said nothing good comes out of that when you get your spoon you know you're doing it you look away and you have a good day you know you're doing it you're getting that jar of almond butter you're getting your spoon and you're taking it to the couch nothing good comes of that okay nothing weight gain lethargy and constipation okay acne all these things you are furthermore you're getting way too many omega-6 fatty acids what are you doing right like we know better but are we doing what we know that's the thing know the thing plug the thing get the results you want know the thing don't do the thing get negative results you don't want it's not brain surgery, right? I keep on telling myself this in other areas of my life. <laughs> but anyway, so what I wanted to tell you was this. Let's say you want to have that food. Okay, so here's the thing. When you have dinner at night, if you're having your fat in there, which I typically do, save my fat for later in the day because I want to have a low fat, though adequate fat existence, okay? I want to really make sure I'm getting in my omega-3. I'm concentrating on my balance of my omega-3 to 6. I am really streamlined, okay? So when I'm doing that, I love to have my dinner about 5.30, maybe 6 o'clock because that way it's going to give my digestion plenty of time. And I have noticed when I have switched up my scheme a little bit lately and eaten a little bit later or I have not had as restful sleep. I don't wake up as zippy and, and as obnoxious as Christopher would call it. And I like to be obnoxious in the morning because that, that means I'm bright eyed and bushy tailed, you know. So anyway, here's the thing. If you are eating, you've got a well mapped out plan of how many calories. No, I'm not harping on calories and I'm not telling you to calorie restrict, but I am saying calories matter. It matters if you get enough and it matters if you get too much, okay? 
if you keep on filling your, your gas tank with too much fuel and it runs down the side of your car over and over, do you think that's going to be a problem with your paint? I mean, that's a different kind of a thing, but you see what I mean? We need what we need, nothing more, nothing less. So you've got this well mapped out. You know how much you need during the day. You know you're getting most of your calories from fruit. If you're on a low fat, raw vegan diet, you are either going to get your calories Really, if you're on a raw vegan diet, you're either gonna get your calories from fruit or fat because you're not gonna get them from greens and you're not gonna get them from veggies unless you're so stuffed you can't even move. So, we don't want a high fat diet. That That is very true. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna get our calories from fruit during the day. If you're me, you're gonna balance those out on a very well mapped out plan to balance fruit with greens, okay? Lots of hydration, all these things to make me feel my very best. So then you're gonna have a snack. You're getting fruit all through the day, okay? You've got your calories. And then at night, you're gonna have a little bit of fat. Now realize this, when you're having your fat at night, when your body goes to digest fat, okay, it is like, let's just think of Scooby and Shaggy, and they're in the old mine, you know what I mean, where there was always a hologram of ghosts, and it still, even though it was a hologram, it was freaky, okay, so they're down there, and they're doing the mine shaft, you know, they're doing the mine cart, you know, and they're on each side, so they're, they look like they're going quick, because it's only in the perspective of the mine shaft, but really compared to an engine on, on the train, it's not so fast, so they're moving that, okay, they're moving that, the mine shaft cart, okay? They're cruising along, they're the fat. And then you decide, oh, I'm gonna have some watermelon. Woo, watermelon party. And you have a watermelon. Well, guess what? The watermelon is like the engine of the train. And it's really fast, okay? Here's the thing about melon. It digests well with nothing but melon, okay? Because it is a fast moving thing, and typically you want to try to combine in a way that things move at the same rate, okay? So anyway, you've got this very slow mine cart, okay? And then you've got the engine of the watermelon coming after it. Why is that? Because the fat did not digest, okay? The mine cart is still plugging along, right? So then you've got this watermelon come along. The watermelon is gonna ram up. It is the engine ramming up into the rear end of this mine cart. Poor Scooby and Shaggy. Guess what's gonna happen to them? They're fixing to having a bombo combo. Okay, you are going to have digestive upset. You are not gonna digest that well. You're not gonna sleep well. Your stomach is going to bloat up like nobody's business. Then you're gonna go to bed and you're gonna wonder why, ah, oh, I don't feel like having relations. I feel disgusting. Honey, I have a headache. Of course you do. You've had a train wreck in your guts. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm saying. When is it that you fit in that sweet after dinner? I would suggest you have some kind of non-caffeinated herbal um, organic tea, like a hibiscus tea. Better off than that would be something like fennel, peppermint, things that calm the digestive tract, that keep your body from developing gas pockets and all these different things. You can even take a little bag of fennel tea, which is typically just little, little fennel seeds, and you can make sure it's the fennel seeds you can tell by feeling. Have that in your purse, and after dinner, you can just like chew on a couple of those, like they're just a little chew after dinner fennel mint. And first of all, it freshens your breath. Second of all, it keeps your body from, from having these gas pockets. You can also add fennel bulb to smoothies, sauces, soups, dressings, salads, bam, right? Isn't this what we want? A streamlined body to where you feel like I had dinner, I was satisfied, I was satiated, and I feel good, right? I feel like I didn't just just live to eat and now the day's over because I can't function. I feel like I ate, I, I ate for my body's needs and now I have other needs and I can get on with whatever I need to do. Relations, laundry, Maybe you're hanging your boobs over the crib because your kids have to nurse. I don't know what you're doing. It depends on where you are in life, you know what I'm saying? So, I wanted to say that. So, here's the thing. If you want to have fruit, have it before that meal. Now, if you're not having fat at night, maybe you had fat earlier, like you had enough chia seeds 
and enough greens to get your omega fatty acids okay let's say you did that which furthermore if you're eating a raw diet and you are eating a lot of greens like let's say a pound and a half you can get all the omega-3s your little body needs to thrive but a lot of people aren't doing that another thing is not only are you getting those are you eating them but are you digesting and assimilating that? Okay, that's three things. Because if you're not, then you're not getting the nutrients you need. Are you having dry skin? Are you having cramping? Are you having like um, dryness around the mouth? Are you having dry eyes? Are you having low libido? Are you having a moisture issue if you're a woman? All these things. Make sure you're getting the fatty acids. Are you having crepey skin? Are you a woman in your mid 40s and you want to, to retain moisture and resilience in your skin? Do you want to have great thought patterns and quick thinking you know are you getting these things are you just thinking okay carb up woo okay whatever eat eat all the white bread until you're dead right that's the reality of that but people or look away and have a good day until it comes back to haunt you have some insurance if you're going to do that you know i don't i my health insurance is the food i put in my body so I wanted to say that I also wanted to say if you are not having fat at night because you have more fat during the day so then at night you could have more like you could have a dressing based on like oranges and red bell pepper or maybe you had like um, just a lot more fruit calories in there you see typically if I'm going to have a sweetener in my dressings okay I usually can digest dressings pretty good if I have a lot of greens and they're blended well it seems like that works out pretty good for me but if you don't digest that well, I would cut out the sweet in there. I would not add in dates. I would not add in apricots, dried apricots. I would add in lacuma powder. That's a good thing. 